Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode of KOB TV, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I am your host, Ken Johnson, and we are talking about pulling out. <laughs> okay, we're talking about Ethiopia and the Prime Minister. Uh, he's saying we're ready to uh, stop. Apparently, you guys that watch the show are more important or have something to do with a worldwide connection because we reported on it, and a couple of days later, they're talking about, hey, we got to get out of here, man. Ken J has found out what's going on. He's telling the people what's going on, and... Uh, we're going to make this our final run. Hey, we've got what we want. So they apparently, uh, as you can see in the background, it says Ethiopia's prime minister, PM, vows final and crucial offensive in Tigray. Ethiopian prime minister vows final offensive in Tigray, and Ethiopia claims Tigray victories, says army marching to state capital. So, once we got abreast of it, guys, looks like uh, it's coming to a close. Now, look how far behind we are if it's coming to a close. Uh, mostly, they've, been had, they've had our minds uh, on Nigeria. Um, and, you know, the looting in the warehouses and stuff and uh, the COVID stuff. Okay, the SARS, in SARS and stuff. Wow, the real thing, uh, you know, the real deal is uh, Ethiopia. They stopped selling that oil, sending up rockets, ready to put people in space. They're do That's where the real news is. And so they're going to, uh, looks like they're marching to an end. They said they're going to the capital. They've, they, they've uh, secured... Uh, their assets basically uh, apparently people won't have to go to S Sudan because remember uh, Ethiopia want, was starting to buy oil from its neighbor Sudan and then it, the, we, we won't call it a particular name then they said well hey you gonna buy oil from them you might as well go there and stay because we can't have that we, we like to eat too and so but anyway uh yeah, that's about it, guys. We did have a asteroid to come close by uh, within 200 miles. That's between the Earth's crust and the outer the outer atmosphere, you know. Um, and uh, what else? We know that the planets are aligning. I am looking forward to the 21st, guys. Uh, and the planets aligning and seeing what's going to happen. I won't make a prediction yet, although you know I'm very accurate when it comes to predicting things. So, not going to make a prediction yet, but you can look forward to me speaking about it. Uh, it's nothing really to say about the election because guess what? I already tell you, and everything's going just the way I said it, you know. Uh, so uh, there isn't really any outstanding news. I already told you the end result. So all this in-between stuff, you guys can look for it and talk about it yourselves because, you know, I don't really care about that. You know, I just wanted to get the end result to you guys so you can hold me to it because... Uh, that'll increase my credibility and uh, although I know I'm right <laughs> you may not know I'm right uh, so we had the asteroid we, we talked about the elections uh, Ethiopia uh, of course uh, I haven't done any current or recent research on Nigeria I guess we can look forward to that tomorrow because um, you know, we know what's going on in America. Uh, 
we're fighting for patriotism those who at least can enjoy the government so it's not a black and white thing it's a patriotism type thing are you a patriot will you pledge your allegiance to the flag of the i'm not gonna say that that's not right i'm not gonna say what you think i'm gonna say it's the flag of amnity and commerce guys look it up so are you gonna pledge your allegiance to that flag that flag doesn't represent morality um uh, and uh it doesn't represent it represents capitalism uh, more like a certificate to do business here in this country that's why they hang it everywhere uh, that's about it guys um, my junior is in town and well, back in town uh, with me uh, for the remainder of the winter so that's most fabulous. He'll get to witness the uh, lining of the planets. And you know, I have a super camera and uh, several cameras and we will probably do some uploads and I may even let him do an episode or two, guys. So look forward to that as well. Uh, that's all I really have for you guys today is uh, Ethiopia is uh, gonna quail they're, they're finished. They, they got what they need, uh, secured what they need, you know, needed to do uh, to protect their interests. Because, you know, if, if I go to Africa, that's where I want to go. I want to go to where they're putting satellites in orbit, you know, uh, where they're realizing uh, that, hey, I don't need to buy oil from way up there when it's right next door. Yeah, you know, I want to go to those who are waking up are awake who uh who can see the light so uh all hail adis ababa uh, and honor to uh uh its new prime minister we, we remember it's a lady you know they actually um forced the previous prime minister out who is holding that position for 30 years we know about positions and holding positions for uh too many years you gain too much power and too much know-how and you're able to manipulate the system and apparently that's what he was doing and it took a military coup to oust him and to put in that female uh work what's her name walk I'm not going to say it because I don't mess it up. But I do know her middle name. Uh, Zwak. Spell work. But that's an African pronunciation. So, okay, guys. Don't have any music yet. I've been terribly busy. So I don't have any accent music. But I would like you to like the video. And share it. If you think you can. Uh, if you think something's new. Something you haven't talked about. Or need to uh, put into the atmosphere. Into the electric atmosphere. Because... Apparently it works. We talked about Ethiopia, uh, and a couple of days later, hey, it's already starting to quail. Uh, share uh, if you're new, uh, and if you're new, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to get the numbers up, guys, uh, and you know, so we can go to the moon, figuratively and literally. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.